April 30th of year 11, at 8.33 a.m., Bathhouse Power Gamer, Entry 108, en route to URI. So who would have guessed I'd become quite the power gamer at life when I first settled down to play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time so long ago? Two nights ago, Thursday night, I was filled with boredom and irritation at the fact that I had nothing to occupy me, so I went out for a midnight bike ride and found myself at a bathhouse. I mean, there were better ways to spend the night, I'm sure, but I happened to be passing by, hadn't checked it out in a while, and that seemed like the most interesting option for how I should spend my night. It didn't disappoint. While there, I struck up a chat with a few of the other fellows there, as only I can, <laughs> and left around 2am the following morning, the 29th at 2am, with the AIM information of one of the employees, a younger guy that was one year older than myself, and in an open but devoted long-term relationship with another man. His name was Chris, a Libra, and I asked him a variety of questions leading up to me asking for his aim, because he said he didn't give out his cell at the bathhouse or sleep with its clientele. I haven't aimed him as of yet, but I should get around to that. Bracket. No, I don't believe I did anything in the bathhouse today, for those of you reading. In some places, it can be a fascinating experience, but in Providence, it's just kind of sleazy. I believe I ended up wandering around and talking to people, mostly. I wouldn't recommend it normally, however, but if people did it normally, it'd make it quite an interesting place, I'm sure. End bracket. As of yesterday, I got two checks. Uh, it seems I make roughly a hundred plus dollars a week. Not a bad haul for a start. I like my job, but I'm eager to see what may come of it while I am there. And what else is out there when I am not? Kenny told me he was going to some school or college in Boston instead of URI. I'm happy for him, but I keep forgetting the name of the school for whatever reason. I'm not sure, but I hear it's prestigious. Go, Kenny! <laughs> also, I opted to get some people's contact information at work so we could celebrate because Leah's not going to New York. <laughs> if no one else wanted to come, I decided that I'd take her out myself. We'll see how that goes. Bracket. Er, Leah was a co-worker. Also, I think she was a Gemini. End bracket. Same night, I started chatting with this beautiful Asian kid, Dustin, a Libran snake. And a Turkish Capricorn guy with a gorgeous physique and a PhD in, uh, something involving math, I believe. Both interesting choices. One goes to RISD and, other, and the other to Brown. I wonder if things will go well with either of them. I got Dustin's cell and proceeded to text him for most of the night. Until I got drunk and yeah, my phone kept shutting off so he went to bed. <laughs> oh yeah. As for how I got drunk, well, Joe baited me out by saying Frank came to visit. Frank said he did also when I texted him, but I missed him again. Oh well. I went to stable with Joe and Roberto, the cute Mexican Sagittarius that was with Alex last time, and ran into my restaurant co-worker Kyle, who called out sick today and requested that I didn't tell the manager where he went because of that. Afterwards, we went to Alley Cat, a bar, played some gay, matched the pictures game, and after Joe and Roberto departed, I had myself a nice, warbly bike ride home where I woke up a few hours later still feeling somewhat drunk, but alert and ready to accept the hempfest invite sent by Lexi's friend Patrick, the hippie-ish Scorpio that I thought, bracket, had cute body language, and bracket, from acting class. And that brings me to why I'm en route to URI at 8am on a Saturday. Although I am here now, I started writing this entry on the bus, in moral union as I type. Perhaps I should tell the two of them I'm in the area, and ask where the fest actually is. Journal entry closed. P.S. Don't forget, I've got work at the restaurant at 5 p.m. today. 